Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all the love on my last local haul video. It was something really different, but it seems like people are kind of digging that kind of thing. I actually got a lot of questions about the Bare Minerals loose powders. I didn't really mention them much in the local beauty haul video, but I did showcase them on my Instagram quite a lot actually because I wear them every day. So I use the loose powders as part of my like five minute makeup routine every morning before work I don't really like to beat my face too much for work I like to save that for the weekend so um, yeah I got a lot of questions about the loose powder so I figured I'd come on here and show you guys my little five minute makeup routine that might help you when you're getting ready in the morning because one I ain't got time to be spending 30 minutes to an hour on my face every morning absolutely not and two I need something that it's gonna be on my face every day, so I need something that's gonna be comfortable to wear and not irritate my skin, because it's gonna be on it all the time. So I've achieved a little routine with these Bare Minerals products that I am really digging. If you are interested in seeing how I achieve a five minute face for work, just continue to watch. Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit so we can get in on the action here. So I already have moisturizer on my face, so I'm just going to go ahead and prime with their foundation primer. So I like to use a primer for two reasons. One, because it protects my skin. It acts as a barrier between my skin and the makeup. And two, it gives the loose powders something to stick to. It helps the loose powders to give me a little bit more coverage. All right, so next I'm gonna take their original loose powder foundation in the shade Golden Tan. This is slightly too light for me, so I like to focus this on the places of my face where I would highlight, so under my eyes, a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. So I prefer to use the original finish rather than the matte finish powder. I just think with powders my skin can kind of just get too dry, especially if it's like a matte powder. So I prefer to use something with a more natural finish. Alright, so with the loose powders, to avoid getting into a crazy mess, I just tap a little bit of the powder into the cap. And then I take my brush and just swirl it in the cap. Alright, so like I said, I'm just going to focus this and the areas of my face that I want to brighten up. And another thing I like about these powders is that they have SPF in it, so like perfect for daytime wear. So I don't know if you can see a difference on camera, but this has just kind of brightened up those areas a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna take their all over face color, which is another loose powder in the shade Warmth, and I'm just gonna use that to warm up the other parts of my face. So I kind of just go in with this like a bronzer. I just feel like bronzer just automatically snatches your face. Like it gives you some dimension, makes you look a little sun-kissed, and what more could you really ask for? So again, I just tapped a little bit of product into the cap, and I'm just swirling my brush in the cap. So you gotta be careful with this powder because it does kind of have a tendency to look a little bit red. Um, you just gotta make sure that you blend it out. Do we see it happening? I feel like it kind of just gave me some warmth and a little bit of life to my face. All right, so next I'm going in with the blush. It's the blush in the shade You Had Me at Merlot. I did feature this in my last video. So I'm only gonna go in with a little bit. This is like super pigmented. So I have to be careful with how much I put on the brush. And just focusing this on like the apples of my cheeks. <sighs> I always put too much. All right, so after blush, I like to go in with a tiny, like a teensers of glow, just because it's me and I can't live without it. If you saw my last video, I used these with a wet brush to get more pigment and more glow from the gods type effect. For work, I like to be a little bit more subtle, so we're gonna use this with a dry brush and kind of just dust it over the cheeks for like a little subtle, natural glow that's just cute. So I'm going to mix glistening topaz and rose quartz. See, it's just like super, super subtle, which is what we want. 
All right, and then by this point, I'm usually freaking out in the morning, like, oh my god, I'm late, I'm late, I'm freaking out. I actually usually just do my lip gloss in the car or at work because I've always got this bad boy on me. This is my favorite gloss at the moment. It is their gloss in the shade Tantalize. How delicious is this color though? I love this gloss. This is my favorite gloss. It's not sticky or anything and it's actually really moisturizing and it lasts pretty long for a gloss. All right guys, so that's it for this look. I told you it was gonna be super simple and sweet. This is my five minute look that I throw on in the morning quickly just so I can look alive. I feel like these products last me all day. However, my job is a desk job. I am sitting down in AC all day so that probably has a lot to do with that. But they're pretty lightweight and you shouldn't expect them to like beat your face to the gods, but if you just want something to make you look a little bit more alive, um, with a little bit more color, slight bit of definition, but you still look kind of natural, then I would say the loose powders are for you. But yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.